Point six wants to know what state lawmakers are doing after a dire warning from the tech industry that Oregon is at risk of losing one of its largest industries. So Intel lobbyists are warning state lawmakers Oregon is losing ground to other states because they offer large incentive packages to lure employers. Well, Brandon Thompson is live now. And Brandon, I know you found a lot of people are really pointing to the state on this issue. Yeah, that's because the federal government is dangling billions of dollars to spur the semiconductor industry. And because other states are doing the same, Intel reps say Oregon needs to take that approach or it risks falling behind. One of Oregon's largest employers sending a message to state leaders in a message to Intel lobbyists say, quote, if Oregon chooses not to compete with other states or if we do not offer competitive incentive packages, Oregon could miss out altogether. And that, quote, our window to compete with other states for these dollars is right now. There's a whole program of work that, that our state, we think, needs to take on to be attractive in a way that Ohio or New York or other states has. Been. Ohio leveraging nearly $2 billion for Intel's $100 billion campus. Just this week, New York eking a deal with Micron, leveraging over $5 billion in incentives for its $100 billion semiconductor plant. It comes as the Biden administration offers billions of dollars to states to support the industry. The lesson we've been learning from other states is that they have been really investing in getting land ready. They have been investing in uh, tax incentives. They've been investing in their universities to uh, build up workforce. Shaw says Metro has urged the state to consider tax incentives. Coin Six took the issue to the governor candidates. Republican candidate Christine Drazen says we need leadership at the executive level that is prepared to advocate for reforms that will result in real lasting change while also protecting other industries. Democratic candidate Tina Kotek says I will support direct and ongoing funding for workforce development and partner with community colleges and registered apprenticeship programs. An unaffiliated candidate Betsy Johnson's campaign says we don't need more letters, reports and studies that don't go anywhere. We need leadership and action now as governor. She'll personally recruit these jobs and find the land and cut the taxes. Oregon has an opportunity as an existing leader in the semiconductor industry. So the we have reached out to Governor Kate Brown's set office several times on this and have not heard back as of tonight. Reporting live in downtown Portland, Brand Thompson, Coin Six News. Brandon, thank you. Up